and welcome to a modern video. Uh, Living and recently dominated the uh, MTGO challenges. First, second, third on Friday. Menino Nene, the same player that won on Friday, also came second on Sunday. I'm playing his list and um, Living and has a uh, very well positioned in the meta game as uh, Team Arrhenus is uh, shipping up to be the best deck in the format and Living and certainly beats that. Uh, I've always had a uh, huge respect for Living End, uh, always ranking it very, very high in my power rankings, uh, even when the deck wasn't winning as much as, as it is now. I respect this deck a lot uh, when I play Merc Tide, usually with uh, uh, Thomas Crypt and such. Although, of course, the more spells that we put in Merc Tide, the worse your matchup is going to be against Living End. Very scary deck. The closest to a one card combo that exists in modern, so very, very powerful. All right, let's begin. I'm on the play. It's a one lander, it has two living ends, so definitely a mulligan. This deck cannot afford to draw more living ends. All right, I'll keep this one. I think I'll bottom grief. Grief in, in handier, it's really only good if I draw exactly a, uh, a living end. Otherwise, any black card, I'm gonna mulligan it. I'm gonna um, uh, cycle it. And it's great when you just start with Sparbluff Canal Go, because your opponent doesn't think you're living again, they think your Merc died. And maybe they just, you know, make different choices sometimes. Like they play around Liney Bolt and they don't play a turn one Ragavan, stuff stuff like that. <laughs> and um Yeah, sometimes it's important to cycle in your turn. For example, if we had a, a gr we had a grief in hand, so I think it would have been fine to cycle in my turn if I kept grief in my hand, but right now I'd rather just pass. And go to the end of turn, the cycle, it striped river winder. Again, no reason for me to cycle main phase. So next turn, we get two five fives X proof in play. Worst case scenario. I mean, that's not worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is a counter spell, of course. But Mal gets to five and starts with Weeps of Teeth. I wonder what they are playing. Maybe some. Elementals deck. You know, Triumph, so that's the main. Could be Zoo. Could be Zoo. Wow, they pass without a second land. Okay. And I'm just gonna cascade around before they can untap and have a uh, problem of uh, stomach or denial. I get 13 power in play on turn three. And pass. Easy game, again, very straightforward plan, very easy. Remember that you can use Outburst just to pump your team. You don't only have to use it to uh, cast Living End. You can also choose to not cast Living End. A Swamp Walk, so Street Raid cannot be blocked. Ooh, actually, I could have Boseju this land and they wouldn't have a 5 power territory on Cabo. I didn't think about that. Should have thought about that. Should have Boseju in that to try him. They, of course, didn't have enough to try him in the deck, so the Cabo was for sure smaller than 5 5. 
funny, you know, I'm playing Magic, I'm playing Modern for so long, and still, I got these, like, lines that, uh, very unintuitive. Wait, I cast a spell so I can... Oh, so it looks like they cascaded Lightning Elix. Alright, I'll counter it. Now I can uh, just simply uh, buzzage you the shardless. Yeah, today we played a uh, glimpse earlier, which won Saturday, and leaving again, which won uh, Friday. Yeah, Friday came one first, one second, third, first, second, third on Friday. Okay. We'll play outburst. I don't cascade and I pump my Strap River Winder for lethal. Alright. Alright, let me check my Cyber God for Chan Fireball because I, I made that a while ago. When was that? In January. I did a Pazoo in it though. I guess in January, Zoo wasn't that popular, maybe? Anyway, for Zoo, uh, so what do they have as a Cyber Nade? Because they can't play counter spells because they have Cascade. I guess they have Chalice of the Void. Take out this for uh, Season Chance. News about CFB in Europe, not going to happen, but what is happening is that, uh, for example, if you, uh, we made this different thing now that if you check out the, um, the new content on China Fireball, for example, I wrote about Five Color Zoo, it's pro, but Pretty sure, maybe double check this, but you can check the whole guide except the cyber guide. Only the cyber guide is behind Pro now. And I'm I'm working with uh, Reed and the rest of the people to make sure that more content is available. The glimpse deck, we went two three. The glimpse. It'll be out in the next days. Alright, put a mulligans to Six. All right. E well, I have grief in my deck, so I think I want to cycle. How many times? Just two, I believe. I guess I want to cycle that as well. All right, I pass. They go for a Tabu here, they can attack an exotic creature, but there's so many of them in the graveyard already. I guess I could have cycled a straight Wraith as well, because I had another black card here. Mm. And a Draco. Okay, I can also buzzage you that. I wonder if it's worth it. 112. Not much. Ooh, Grief. All right, happy to go grief here. Let's see what you got. You have the fairy. And a Draco to Elixes. All right, pass here. I'm not gonna go buzzage you. 
because I I plan to just do this and maybe Druid Teferi you don't have a land. I don't want to give you a land with Bose like like with Bozeju. With eight and they have six damage in hand, so we need to care about that. I can die to a lightning elix, for example. Sorry, I meant to say a travel flames, for example. Wait, I'm dead. All right, let me do this because I need to find a uh, force of negation. Man, I'm dead. Too many, too many stray raids. Ah. Oh, this force of this force of vigor could have been a force of negation, right? Yeah. Wow, what a terrible death. Well, no need to show them my deck. I'm just dead. Grief discards one elix, but they have another one. All right, let me bring back the Force of Negations. Every time Rowler is a big deal. Yeah, dying to Tribal Flames, just like that. I guess I wish I played, uh, I wish I played, um, was a, all right, would you like to play first? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's a key. I'll start, uh, probably Steam Bands. Most to five. Oh, most to four. Right. So the most to four. Maybe they were looking for specific hate, like Chalice of the Void, Void Mirror. Lavinia. I'm cycling the seven drops since those are uh, less likely to be hard cast that if our opponent stops our, our combo. Let's see again, the Mulligan 2 5, so I'm expecting them to have some serious cyber hate. They have the steam vents and they have all five colors. At five five, I'm gonna go off here. They play a void mirror. We might use the Bazaju though for it. Let's see. Oh, it's a Silent Draco? All right, then. We got this. What's better to do? Uh, two creatures or Waker of Waves? Two creatures guaranteed or, or a 7-7 seven, seven and maybe another creature? I guess the Waker of Waves is large enough that it is good. That's good. Let's just go shardless, killing this thing. Unlikely that my opponent uh, can get out. Yeah. Turn three, 
easy win. Turn 3 show and tell. This deck is the closest thing to show and tell that exists in modern. One card combo that costs 3 mana. That if resolves is impossible for your opponent to win with. So good. Just, it's really just broken strategy. It's really broken strategy. That is impossible to rank low. Very hard to rank this, this, this comp. I, yeah. So good. All right, let's go. Round number two on the play. Solid hand. Michael. And cycle. Let's see if there's a grief. There isn't. No worries, though. Wins with teeth again. Okay. Lots of wins with teeth gamers today. Both of Nisa. Elementals? No, Stoneforge Mystic. Alright, good draw. Uh, keep on digging. For that uh, grief. Oh, subtlety as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will complete. Mm hmm. I think I just like to go outburst here. Again, it's just so impossible to imagine a world where this this isn't game over. So easy, so easy, so easy, so easy. I mean, it might be one of the reasons why people don't like to play, don't play this deck that often because it's just so easy to win. Just all right. Uh, green, white, Stoneforge, Mystic, Oath of Nisa. They must, this time, they must have, they must have artifacts. They must have artifacts. Let's just do the same sideboard. It's not they must have artifacts. All right. I think leading any nanny isn't as, um, isn't as, Bad as it used to be before grief, before adding grief to the deck. Now if I draw grief, it's a great way of use for living end. I'll cycle now because I might draw uh, grief. See what's up now. They might be playing devoted droid. Yeah, that's what they're playing. So bigger. Condition Breaker killed the Saga, but let's see if my opponent uh, will win the game. With the Saga, they would have got the Luxor Jada's gift and combo. Stoneforge, okay. They can get Luxor Jada's gift, but then they don't have a... Uh, I mean, I have Force of Vigor now. Yeah. This one has a keeps three, so... Like, obviously, I can't do it now. Land? Hmm. Go for Waker of Waves. Forest. And pass. 
Once again, hoping not to die. Best case scenario is if they play Luke's or in equip. Force of Vigor. Nice. One white mana could mean mana tight. Yeah, if you have it, you have it. Red mana tight? Oh, wow. Sweet. They kill their own devoted druid. All right, look at your top three cards. This one does not kill the architects. And these are your top three cards. Okay. Hmm. Um, I think I'll do Giver, Saga, Devoted Druid. And you draw a devoted druid. A what? Mm hmm. Brief. Okay. Uh, I'm looking to cycle because I might draw into a red source and then outburst. Um, yeah, let's attack it all. Cycle. Cycle again, or do I want to grief first? I cycle again, I don't think it has any difference, so I'll just grief. Let's see what they have. They concede. Alright. Easy games. Let's move on quickly to match three. Twenty minutes, two matches already. Okay, let's go. Who does put hills pass? Mm -hmm. And no grief in my hand, so no reason to do anything. I'll just pass. Bonjour, no people. Could be another zoo deck? Or maybe it's creativity? Deck is good against creativity. Hmm, lots of lands here, unfortunately. Do I want to cycle main? I think so. Based on that, I'll decide whether I want a top land or or not. They might have to fairy, but we can go force pitch shardless and then cast shardless. Okay. They might have a uh, spell pierce, so I'll just uh, use outburst end of turn. They pass without a land, and I'll go forest. 
outburst. One of the strengths of the deck is that spell fears is that you, your deck has eight show and tells. So your opponent has counter spell, sure, you just on top and play another one. I could also use force, but I don't think I like that. I think this is much better. Keep the force for my opponent's combo deck instead. Broken, just broken strategy of having eight short, short and tail cards in your deck. And that one can obviously not win anymore. And I guess they, in theory, if we don't have force, they can go creativity. I guess they can go creativity anyway. But they just don't draw lands and, and lose. Okay, now against creativity, what does my side, what does my guide say? It says to bring in dispute for one creator of mysteries, one shardless agent. Hmm. Instead of dispute, answers the the fairy. Subtlety also answers the fairy. Oh, this is what my guys say. Hmm. Uh, do, do I like subtlety? Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Let's go with this. Okay, not a great hand, but uh, I'm gonna keep it. Put an Osu five. A little bit too many living end. Might do it late, three or four. Play four. I call looking for a grief. No, it's okay. I pass. They have a Francis. Seems like that. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, keep on cycling here. Botanical synced. Really bad. All right. At least I have a grief now. Happy with it. Into this card fable. Okay, so they have plus a storm. And they have uh, creativity. It's very hard for me to beat uh, plus a storm with my hand. I'm just taking. I'm just taking it. I'm hoping my opponent just jams creativity next turn. Meet Ketchup Pepe. Enjoy. They return a land and they pass. Ooh, outburst. That's very lucky of me. Also, one of the reasons why I discarded the. that. I think I have to pass here because my opponent might just go. I guess they can go Veil of Summer on the Grief, but then they can't cast Creativity. So yeah, I just pro I should probably just go Outburst in your upkeep then. Yeah, I should probably just go out Outburst in your upkeep, so that if you go Veil of Summer, you can't cast Creativity. Yeah. You can ask Lufus, for sure. 
All right, let's go. Let's hope that let's hope they didn't draw. They won't win though to draw a counter spell. Hopefully they they didn't. All right, let's be living down the stack. And they go Velo Summer. Okay, they draw a card. And they draw a spell appears. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they have creativity and two fetch lands. All right. Fetch go. I only have one leading end left in my deck. Let's see if they go for creativity, and that may be mean that I can top deck another escape spell. I set it at one. That's probably sideboarding with this deck. It's just, yeah. Really, really hard because other deck is cyclers, permission spell, and combo cards. Whenever you side, I like to just side out permission spell for more permission spells. Like what I did with Force of Negation, Force of Vigors. Obviously in this matchup, Force of Negations are great. Alright. They they emblem the Ren, it's game over for me. I can never beat an emblem Ren with uh those spell in the graveyard. Alright, let's try and cast Waker of Waves. Okay, uh, it's probably over, probably over, but I'll pass for now and let's see what happens. Can I try the mirror control? Sure. That's a good deck. I played it. I played it for. I think I played it for Channel Fireball YouTube channel. So you can check it out. Popper Demir Terror video. The opponent is about to play Creativity with Veil of Summer backup. I think that's what's happening. We were supposed to cycle this to find grief. I would have probably lost regardless to a Ren Emblem. I once played uh, Bloodbird Alpha with uh, Timur Rhinos with Bloodbraid and Blood Moon, yes. You can check it out on my YouTube channel. Although Force of Negation is uh, very important these days in modern, so playing Rhinos without it, it's, it's difficult. Okay, it looks like they go creativity, but they don't leave up. They don't leave up um Veil of Summer, they leave up counter spell. Meaning I can just exile this creativity now. Your research. I'll um I'll help you. It's usually easy to browse YouTube. You just write Mangu, Rhinos, Lodbraid. Let's see. See? Mango Rhinos, Blood Braid, Mango El Blood Braid Elf in Rhinos wins Modern Four Seasons. It was four months ago. It's not even that long ago. But yeah, honestly, whenever you look for content on YouTube, it's just, uh, just my name, title, and you, you always find it. Why didn't I play Fetch, Artcast? Because they have Ren6 Emblem, Stop is in the Graveyard. Right, hopefully we top the cascade spell and they and they die because flash the storm I can pay it. Nope. 
it can't go off again now because they um I exiled the creativity with force and negation. Yeah, so they pass. Although if they have two lands, they can just double floss the storm my cascade spell, so probably over regardless. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to cast this. Like, if I cast this, I think I lose. All right, I'll, uh, I'll concede. Let's go to the third game. I just need them to dodge the spell pierce. They, they drew it. It's fine. I mean, it's a, it's a luck deck. You embrace the luck of the deck. Uh, do I... Yeah, I'll confirm my cyber plan. One Charlotte's, one Architects. On the play, yes. And keep. Do I want to go on turn one, the Grief, Living End? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. I'll just go Scaldian Tarn, go. And cycle the end of turn. But it must do six. And I'll get a steam dance. And cycle. Um, I don't need to cycle anything right now. I'm gonna slow roll this grief for the turn I go off, or for the turn I want to protect me against the fairy. But on turn two, I don't care if they go for Ren and six. Whereas they might draw a card now that I like to discard, so I like to wait until the last moment. That's grief now. All right, cycle first. So I have more informations before casting this Waker of Waves. I'll just get a land so that I can top the Cascade spell now. Okay, let's go Grief so that if they have Veil of Summer, I can just force some negation in it. Yep. I'll go with an island, I think. All right. Um, mm -mm. Okay, so let's discard that, but I wonder if I should counter Fable. I'm not going to now. I'm not going to counter Fable. I need to counter Creativity. Because if I counter Fable and then I Brick, I can just go creativity to turn after. Wow, they got tap land. So they must have drawn a uh, counter spell there. I think I'd like to just cast Curator now. Uh, do I have any preferences? They 100% drew a counter spell. So I think just cycling to draw Charlotte isn't good. I think it goes four, so they can defend it with the uh, spell piece or fluster that they drew. They have to intend by my opponent with Veil to Fairy, just must answer, and still left over with Fable to Creativity. And again, they, they drew a counter spell now, so I think I'm gonna lose this game. But usually, Living End is favorite against creativity. And one of the reasons why Living End is doing so well is because it's favorite against creativity. But then again, like, not this two set of games, I think, where my opponent worked there very well. 
Card first, and I find an Otawara. Huh, Otawara is not bad here. Although, I think I should try. It looks better. Uh, I think I pass. Just keeping up this block, the Shaman. 17 to 9. I don't feel in a position to attack. Leyline Binding. <sighs> okay. Okay, that's a start. If I draw a black card, maybe we can do something. And... My only hope is if they have spell peers and Charlotte's land can be dead. Eh? How about that? This is my only hope if this if that spell appears. Yep, let's go for it. Otherwise I just pass and where do I go? I think I just lose. We needed a black card there. Let's see. They look summer, I'm sure. Does, oh, I guess I can't grief you. Hmm. The two life. Yeah, I'll lose here. Uh, I lose here, unfortunately. Yep. GG. Unfortunately, no blue... No blue card. But we did play around self here as well. I was happy about it. Still, the card TV2 was too, too good. Arkland of Cruelty wins the game. All right, take a bathroom break, and I'll be back for round number four. Number three, a mulligan this hand. Doesn't have lands, doesn't have cascades. Keep this hand, it has lands, and it has cascade. Let's go. He was supposed to bottom force of negation. I don't know about that. Oh, Bella Lee again, to begin. Oh, Nanta Bella leaving end. Exactly what I wanted after my mulligan decision. Just two leaving end off the top, fresh. Yeah, this is a very much a luck deck, so you have to embrace it fully. You cannot. You can't afford to be like, oh no, I got so unlucky. Whoa, we'll take Brawler. That's weird. Yeah, earlier with Glimpse, I managed to. The Ragavan hit my Glimpse and I draw the other two. Play four, Living End. I'm gonna hold uh, the Creator of Mysteries because maybe I need to counter like a Teferi then I pitch it to Force. I don't want to just cycle it. We'll see.
or three trample all the way from ether revolt standard and they keep up mana Well, blood cycle. I'm casting. I'm casting shardless. I don't care about it. We play stubborn denial. I'll take it. Brief. Shardless. See what they do. Do they bold their own creature? Yes, they do. <laughs> right? Not sure why they would fetch first, but here we are. Uh, so this is my top deck. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll um, mm -mm -mm -mm. this. Does it matter? Maybe. And you are top two. Okay. Ooh, is this large? Yes, it is. I think they're both large. I'll give you more bull type brawlers. I lose this game. I lose this game. Hey, you shook and tapped. Mm hmm. I will block so I take zero damage. And more brawlers. A lot of energy for my opponent. A very energetic player. And a Kavu. Wait, you had Kavu this whole time? Okay, so I attack you for four. You go to nine. Then I'll play a creator of mysteries. I I don't want to get a steam vent, so if I if I just draw outburst, it'll be a mulligan. I don't wanna I don't wanna get steam vents here. He draws another five five. I feel like I can't lose this game. Right here, chump here. Their hand is. I think it's Tarmogoyf and two mystery card. Wow, they loot. Okay, no, it makes sense. It makes sense, of course. They discard Tarmogoyf, though. Want to jump or just. Yeah, I think I'll avoid taking the damage of Trample because, like, next turn, I'm, this damage is going to go through regardless. I can go. And chum block it next turn. Gonna slang uh, the main zoo. Three mana, what's that? Shardless. Okay. 
The Cascade into Boar's Charm. Okay, go to three life. Hmm. Zero. Grief. Oh, Epi. Ooh, I could cast Grief. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's good, probably, right? Good, probably. Shardless Cavu. Okay, I'll take Shardless. Then I attack it all. Or no. Just attack with these. Yeah, because this isn't lethal. Yeah, I think it's better to do this. This way I dodge um, Leyland Binding. I don't die to Leyland Binding this way. Hello, Pablo. All right, let's see. That to removal spell. No, that's sorry, that to burn spell. Let's hope to dodge. Let's hope to dodge. Please, no bolt. No. What's that? Boar's charm? No. If I evoked grief, I would have won, I think. Yeah, if I evoked grief, I would have won, I think. If I evoke grief, this card shardless. I still have a blocker here, so I take two down to one and I force of negation the boar's charm. GG. Uh, no sideboard against Zoo. Yeah, I should have evoked grief. Lesson learned. The body there did not matter. Let's start. Cycle. And do I want to cycle again? Looking for a grief? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. I wanna go I think I'll main phase this. I find shardless, but I don't find a green land. I think I'm taking shardless. I think it's better than it's better than a non-green land there. This opponent has a counter spell. Although they play shardless, so I'm, I'm I'm suspecting they don't have counter spell. I guess a blue card for force and subtlety. Unfortunate, no green land. Go to Warrigo then. What is mana up? Huh? But they might have a Hollywood Moonlight. Maybe. No, I guess they can't. They just fetched. Could be Boar's Charm. I want to force a Boar's Charm. Right? No, what blue was that? What's this? I did see me stopping. Oh, moonlight. Cycling. Pass again.
think I'll start by because hmm. you can cast Curator of Mysteries. Nah, I guess I'll hold this for brief. Hmm. Yeah, I'd rather not cycle this. Maybe I should have though, because I could, because I could R cast Grief with just a single. Uh... Yeah, maybe it's a mistake. Yeah, it's probably a mistake. I should have cycled. Let's see if I would have drawn a land. I wouldn't. Alright, I think I'm passing again. Nah, maybe I'll cycle. I'll cycle a bunch more. I want to grief now. Yeah, you know what? Now I'll grief. Hold the other grief. Lar cast it. Is that Bale of Summer? I'll with Moonlight. Sure. I'm gonna keep some cycling. I'll check up your hand. What you got? What you got? You got a bolt. Outland. All right. You have six cards. Hmm. It's just creatures. It's just creatures. I pass. Hopefully, I will be able to draw Greenland next turn. We're going pretty deep at this point. I don't really want a subtlety anything here. Maybe I should, though. Yeah, I guess it will. This will buy me some time. Yeah. For Greenland? Nice. I know. Yeah, I Alright, so we need to watch out for Halloween Moonlight in the third game. Yeah, and I don't want to say in anything. Let's go. <sighs> Unfortunate land here. If it was another one I would have kept, but island sorry, forest. It's a mulligan. Let's go. Anna? Mm, I think I will go for a cycling turn one. Find a grief. I don't mind casting it. Abu. I have to bounce that. Do you use a forest? Doesn't really matter. I'll have to bounce the Kabu. No bit of summer. Okay. And he's back. All right.
Five out of the forest. I wonder what my brain told me. Okay. Carless agent. It's not as good as the outburst because my opponent can still um cast my opponent can still cast a um, Hollywood Moonlight. Whereas if they have Hollywood Moonlight I can force it because I cast it in their turn. But better than nothing. It is seven. Let's see if they draw this card or if they exile my River Scripper Winder. This card draw makes me think they maybe don't have a uh, Hollywood Moonlight. Could have been at 14 if I fetched up Island like a normal, like a normal person. Simply punted both game one and three in this match. Hopefully it doesn't matter. Hopefully we just resolve our Charles and win flawlessly. Outburst? No outburst. Okay. Let's go, Charles Agent. Let's go. Please. No Hollywood Moonlight. Nice. You and me. Hey. Uh, what do I want to do here? Mm -mm -mm. I want to grief, right? Yeah, I like the grief here. I think I'm happy to make you draw uh, in Duvance this turn. You don't have the land. And what else? You draw in Duvance this turn. And then the turn after, what do you draw? I guess you draw Stomping Ground the turn after. Okay. Hello, the designer Bobo. Whenever I go to McDonald, I always get the uh, crispy McBacon. That's what that's what's called. In theory, you should side out Leyland Binding. It's really not good. So why don't you take the shardless? Sorry, the straight rate. So they draw Endurance. The next card is the Stomping Ground. But it might actually cast it this turn. Because they draw this, they discard and draw. Is it actually crispy in Italy? Oh, it's good. Whenever I, whenever I eat it, it's, it's, it's a good sandwich for sure. You love Mac Chicken? Nice. You discard the Voltaic Brawler. Uh, probably Lufus, yes. Okay, we trade. You play Stomping Ground. Untapped, because you have uh, Endurance in end. And you play Tarmogoyf. And you play Shiver Brawler. What's my draw here? Is it grief? I think so, yeah. Yeah. That's grief. Grief the endurance. Next one I have a 4 4 flying. A. 
يا امنا مسباسيا Yeah, the, the McDonald's in Italy is much better than the one in America. I have tried both of them, and I think I can say that. It's it's not that bad, the McDonald's in here. It's not that bad. I think the, the main reason is that the price difference between McDonald's and a restaurant here, it's not... It's similar, whereas in America, it's huge, the difference. So that's why I think... Anyway, they have Boris Charming and uh, my best, what's my best? On top I have a 3-3, three, three, uh, yeah, okay, I think I have it. My best block here is double block the Tarmogoyf, put a 2. Yes. And then I cast Borrower in the turn. Opponent goes for Boris Charm and force and negation it, untap, play a 4-4 four, four life, uh, flying. That's the plan. Wow, opponent doesn't. But it doesn't play. I mean, they play well. I'm saying they play well here. Yeah, I'm dead. I had no outs. Uh, the only hope is that if they play that board, show me a response to Borrow in their turn, but they didn't. Yeah, the two damage at the end did not matter, thankfully. And, uh, yeah, maybe I should have let him draw Boris Charm so I could grief it. But Endurance would have been as bad. So, I think overall, uh, the play was fine here. Let's begin the last match. We have um, two living end in end. That's too many. That's too, too many. All right, this one is a keep. I'll bottom subtlety. In the dark, in the matchup, I think it's good. I'll be leaving for Minneapolis next Monday. Next Monday morning. Ooh, Thotsies. Okay, my hand is basically nothing, so... Thotsies does nothing here. Since I'm playing against a Thotsies deck, I don't want to cycle main phase, because they might, you know, discard. Hmm. Hey, wonder what deck is that? Maybe it's the blue black shadow deck. Yeah, let's cycle a bunch. Oh, yeah, I don't need to cycle in their turn. I'll cycle in my turn. Ooh, okay. Since I have a good card to discard, I don't mind cycling now. Probably played it. this land I think my point knew about. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Armo Goif. Alright, let's hope they didn't have stab with denial. Or let's hope I draw blue cards so I can force a negation. That would also have been good. I don't want to go off just now, so I'll wait. I'll wait that I draw a blue card for force. Nine. Left total is going down. Blue card. Come on, go back. Yeah. I'll go to five. I mean, they very likely have a counter spell that costs one mana. And if I wait to five, I also play around spell pierce, I guess. Oh, 
or blue card. Hmm. All right, let's pass and go for uh, outburst in my opponent turn. I think it's the best. It's the most likely play for me to win. All right. And let's see what happens now. The spell appears. I can pay the counter spell. I have fours. If two things, I'll lose. Let's see if they have two things. Stubby D. Yeah, they have the stubby D. All right. Yeah, I. No, no regrets. I believe. We played the game as good as we could, even our cards. I'll uh, take out Borrower and Subtlety. Right, let's go. Final. Uh, yeah, I believe this is a keep. We have some interactions, although I don't want to fire off the interactions just now. I want to chill out a bit more. The car market experience was great, yeah. Uh, yesterday they posted the first video uh, against uh, Yamin. This Bluer Merc type versus the 100, 100 euro budget deck. Alright, talk Z's, they can take a look at my hand. There's the Sunken Ruin. War cast both of my black cards. Doesn't come up that often though. Okay, yeah, the, the grief. Do I want to cycle now? I guess I'll wait. Does this bug anybody? I think I'll wait. Yeah, there's gonna be popper soon. It's uh, up against Torolf. It's gonna be Familiars versus uh, Altertron. The matchup. I don't want to cycle and cast this. I don't, because I don't know which land to get with this. Because if, if I get the Steam Vents, and then I draw the another Red Source, or vice versa with a Braiding Pool, it's not really like it. So unless I have to crack this, I'm not going to. Yeah, for the for the next PT, I'm testing with uh, Torolf and Arne. This is so tight as Shadow. Yeah, yeah, seems like uh, so tight for sure. I'm not sure if that that's Shadow, but colors are indeed so tight. All right. I had Charlotte's agent, so now I'm gonna safely get a breeding pool. Let's see if I if I if I draw a land, I'm just R casting grief. It's so awkward. I think I'm passing. I don't wanna. I think I wanna R cast grief here. It's so obvious that they have a million counter spells to me. Spell? Don't play a creature. No, no, no. No! Don't play a creature! Play a spell! Creature. <sighs> Alright, let's try it. And grief, maybe they have exactly one counter spell. Big of summer. Alright. That's a spell I can cast. I can counter, I mean. 
All right. Well, we have um, obviously not happy with not not thrilled with the trade, but we removed one sabre denial from my opponent hand. Wicker of Waves. I think I would rather wait one more turn and go for the Waker. Mm, I guess I can do it. Nah, I'll I'll pass. Yeah, I'll pass. I'll pass. Give one more turn and then wait for the Waker. Good to nine. Ghosty Boy Walker. Uh, Who gives him response? A. Okay. You have three cards in end. I would have rather, I would have rather drawn a black card there though. Let's see, black card. Oh, black card. Nice. Okay, it's not over though, right? I think. Not over though, right? I can discard a counter spell. Then I go shardless. You go. You go counter spell. You put me to one. But then I can top deck. The um, another another shardless, and when it's not over yet. Casting there grief. Oh, you're casting grief. Well, now now I can also top deck a land in Otawara the Merc died. Need it shardless now, or it's over. Traitor of Mysteries. Well, technically not over yet, so I guess you keep on surviving here. Actually, it is over. Because if I reanimate, I guess I... Yeah, for me, you just attack me with three. For three. It is over. Alright, GG. Thank you everybody for watching. We started strong, but we really lost the wheels at the end. Then again, that's part of the living end experience. You don't draw well and your deck does literally nothing. So <laughs> definitely what you have to you know, what you sign up for sometimes. Again, thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment if you're watching on YouTube, and I'll see you tomorrow.